creating better schools and brighter futures. Hello, I'm Kelly Lynn and this is Comcast Newsmakers. Joining me at this hour is Nicholas Fector. He is director of Hands On DC. Great to have you here. It's good to be here. So tell me about Hands On DC. How long have you been around and what do you specifically do? Sure. Well, Hands On DC is, um, is an all-volunteer nonprofit organization. This is our 18th year of operation. And uh, what we do is we go out to communities to, uh, throughout DC to engage volunteers to help us raise funds for scholarships that benefit um, DC public school students and then to perform uh, beautification projects to improve the physical environment throughout DC public schools. So um, yeah, volunteers do a lot of, uh, volunteers do a lot of different things. They do like, they'll, they'll paint um, hallways and stairwells, uh, reorganize uh, libraries, a lot of different um, general projects as well as some that take, um, that take a little more skilled volunteers. So murals, uh, building benches, putting in extra um, library shelves, that sort of thing. And over the years, you have helped improve more than 150 public schools? That sounds right. Yeah, absolutely. So tell me how people can get involved. There's a big event coming up this year called the DC, the Hands on DC 2012 Workathon. Is that correct. like a big spring cleanup? That is. That's a good way to look <laughs> at it. Sure. That's coming up May 19th, Saturday, May 19th. And, uh, and that's, um, that's our biggest event. We organize roughly 2,000 volunteers to go out and serve. And uh, I think this year we're going to be in 24 schools. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, they're going to come out. They're going to do uh, landscaping projects. They're going to do interior projects. Um, it's just a great way to get out and get involved and make uh, a tangible, noticeable difference in uh, the DC public schools for the students. All right, you are always open to volunteers joining the effort. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to be a professional carpenter or a construction no. worker to do this. No, you don't. In fact, we, um, we accept all types of, uh, of volunteers, from the extremely skilled to the uh, extremely novice. And uh, a great way for anyone who's interested in volunteering is to visit our website, handsondc.org, uh, or to send us an email at volunteer at handsondc.org. Um, and if you would love to volunteer, but you can't for whatever reason that happens, um, we are accepting uh, donations as well. That's a big part of how we, um, how we operate and how we're able to bring projects to these schools. So if anyone's interested in supporting our organization, they can go to our website, handsondc.org, to learn how to donate. As well. All right, so they can donate money, but can they donate materials? Absolutely. Without All right, question. what kinds of materials are you looking for? Always looking for mulch, right? Anything um, topsoil, if they have that uh, for landscaping. Paint is a big thing. Paint is by far one of our largest expenses. So we do a lot of painting and a lot of murals. So um, those are some big ticket items. If someone wanted to do that, uh, painting materials, brushes, um, anything that. Uh, that helps get the paint from the can on the walls is, is always something we're looking for. Okay, so people can go to your website. It, mm -hmm. wh what time will all this start on Saturday, May 19th? Wh where do people yeah. show up or do you have sure. to organize it after they uh, register, I guess, with you? Yeah, that's a big part. Registration is kind of where all the magic happens, right, in terms of that. Uh, people will, can volunteer as an individual or they can sign up some of their friends and colleagues at work to form teams. And then what they do is, um, is basically uh, come to us and we assign them to schools. So that's kind of all done prior to the event, May 19th. Uh, but people show up Saturday, uh, anywhere from 8.15 to 8.30. We you know, process them in and then we start with our projects around 9 and usually finish up around 3 p.m. Terrific. Uh, yeah. Let's talk a little bit more about the scholarships because you've given out over $600,000 that's over right. the year in yeah. scholarship money. What are you looking for in terms of the individuals that you help? Well, we're, we do this, it's needs-based, right? But a big part of this is supporting uh, students that are a part of the public schools. So, um, you know, that's really our focus is, you know, we're here to, we're here to support DC public schools, um, both, like you said, through our um, scholarship fundraising, as well as through our projects, so. All right, and if you want more information about either, about g getting involved with donating towards the scholarship fund, mm -hmm or becoming a scholarship recipient, or this latest event, Workathon <laughs> 2012, just go to your website, handsondc.org. That's right. All right, Nicholas Fector, thanks again for coming in. Well, thanks for having me. And we thank you for watching Comcast Newsmakers. If you would like more information about events happening in your community, go to Comcast On Demand and click Get Local. I'm Kelly Lynn, and I'll see you next time.